Hello, everybody. Jax and Chris from Reactive Gaming here. And today we're going to talk about what it means to move from one season to the next in Once Human. You might be having some questions like, well, what is a season and what sort of things can I bring with me from one season to the next? Or why is this happening to me? Well, we're going to try to answer some of those questions today in this video. Stick around to the very end to learn how to register for all new seasons. We know you're all curious to see what is coming up and what to expect. So what exactly is a season in Once Human? From what Star Wars Studios has shared, we think it's a literal game changer, each season bringing all new scenarios with different phases, fresh challenges, and all new events. Mm -hmm. We're told we'll be exploring new maps, battling with new gear, even capturing brand new deviants. With each season introducing unique objectives, whether it's resisting enemy invasions or fighting for control of the, the core region. Plus, you get to experiment with different characters, building gear, and tackle all new event challenges. So the studio has said since before release that seasons would be an important part of Once Human. Seasons aren't just about, you know, the fresh content. They're about a fair and balanced experience. Everyone starts on an equal footing, which means new players can catch up and veterans can get a fresh challenge. Now, like most of us, you've probably been wondering... Has all my hard work been for nothing? Well, the good news is all your blueprints, house constructions, and your friends will carry over to the next season. Your character and progress will move over to Eternal Land and your personal mini world stopover. Speaking of transfers and Eternal Land, what can you take with you? Here's what can transfer over directly to the new season with you. Friend data, house blueprints, character customization data, and things like cosmetics, poses, and name cards, progress in the main side and journey tasks of the main story, furniture formulas that haven't been unlocked with mimetics, and the currency items like sproutlets or starcrom, and finally, gear blueprints and their star levels, the blueprint fragments, everything that has to do with the combat, the weapon accessories, those will transfer over directly. Now remember, you can choose to take some items and resources with you when you start your new journey by transferring items to the depot in Eternal Land. For example, you could take your weapons and armor, common resources such as materials, medications, bullets, and things like that. Other than that, nothing else carries over to the new season. Data such as your levels, energy links, maps and strongholds, exploration process, season challenges, task process, etc. will not be transferred. Besides the items and resources that can be directly taken with you, others will be transferred to Eternal Land, and in Eternal Land, you can convert these items into Astral Sand, which can then be used to craft items you've unlocked and want to take into the new season. But to transfer items and resources from Eternal Land to the new season, you must spend material points, and there's a limit of 100,000. Now, this means you're going to have to be discerning with what you decide to bring. We'd like to help you out with that. So here are our expert tips on what to do in the new season. Now for some of our pro tips. Storage batteries are highly recommended. They could be used in the new season alongside the Stardust water pump to extract Stardust source, which can be redeemed for various items and resources in the new season, helping you complete early tasks with ease. Other things that might sound basic but might be lifesavers are high-level resources like gold ore and electric drills. Things like this will make your early tasks a breeze. Oh, and even basic things like acid and rubber can't be emphasized enough. Right now, in this season, at the end of the game, we are struggling to find some acid, and I really think it might be worthwhile to take into the new season. Now for registering a new season. Now this might sound like a chore, but it's a pretty straightforward process. When the season ends, head into the season screen during the last phase, and that's all you need to do. So, what do you think about season two, Jax? It'll be interesting to see what they've got cooking, because I, I like the idea that everything starts over and you have a chance basically to play the game that you like, mm -hmm. but in a new scenario, yeah. Different things going on. How new do you re really think it's going to be, though? I am kind of concerned because at least this season got really grindy at the end. Mm. So, so I don't know. I'd like you, to see it. Yeah. Would you like to see, obviously, well, it's hard to say because 
the whole game is grind, right? And some people like that. Yeah. Some people like the grind. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it in certain things. I love the game overall, but it gets to a Mm -hmm. point where I feel it's becoming very repetitive. Mm -hmm. You're basically at, at our point where we are in our level is we're looking for acid. We're looking for tungsten and other little bits and pieces. And that's what we need to sort of maintain where we are by constantly upgrading our yeah. weapons or maintaining our weapons and our armor, things like that. Now, the second season should unlock more to the map, obviously. Mm-hmm. But will it be the same thing? Will there be new minerals? Will there be new, new things like that? This is what we're all sort of asking, I think. Is it going to be mm-hmm. worthwhile coming back to the second season? Yeah, and with a lot of these buildings, you notice that they're kind of procedurally generated. So you've been in one, you've been in them all, which I guess can kind of be nice because then if you're new to an area, you're like, okay, well, I need to go find that other door because I know it's there. But some of it is... um, It's all very repetitive. Just kind of, yeah. It is very, very repetitive. I love it, you know, I wish they would do a few little things. like, Like if it was up to me... They did okay with the scenery. They could do a mm-hmm. lot better with the textures, obviously. Now, considering they're using Unreal Engine 5 and what that is capable of, I think it's yeah. lacking a little bit in the graphics aspect. The water mm-hmm. looks completely unrealistic. You look at a waterfall, kind of bad. it is dreadful looking. But the game has so many other positives. Like, There's so much you can do. In this game, mm-hmm. you could build, you can mine, you could just go around killing shit. There's a there's a lot you can do, and I, I love the questing aspect of it as well. To be honest, yeah, I love the missions. I love too. to go and do new things. These are all good things. What I don't like is season two coming and wiping a whole bunch of our stuff that we've been working really hard towards. What they should do is give more options on particularly your memetics, right? You work really, really mm-hmm. hard to get all those. Um, what's it called? Starter source, not the starter source. Um, uh, uh, the the memetic like sort that. of yeah. Anyway, that thing. Oh, the ciphers. Ciphers, correct. Um, yeah. You know, you work okay. really hard to try to get all those to upgrade your gear instead of wiping it and starting from scratch. Why can't they just enhance or improve, add things? I mean, I think that's your your regular, uh, I guess, release cadence for most games. And I think they're trying to do something different here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, I get it, but also I'm not sure that's the best approach. I think they're trying to keep as much as possible, or at least the things yeah. that most people will find important. Oh, 100%. Or, I'm glad yeah. that we found out they are keeping more than we originally anticipated because mm-hmm. when I first heard about a season after six weeks and everything gets wiped, I immediately thought, okay, they're going to wipe everything. My house, my you know, my guns, everything like that are going to be gone. And that was a really big um, – it, it was really discouraging to me. I didn't want to come back to oh, season yeah. two for that very reason. Now, I'm not saying we are mm-hmm. going to come back for season two, but we're definitely going to check it out and see how it goes, see what sort of improvements they're going to be yeah. and things like that. Exactly. But we are looking for more options when it comes to gameplay and we're always keen on other people's suggestions. I would love mm-hmm. to get everyone's feedback, what other games out there that are, you know. Please. I like these sort of games, but we, we kind of like a game with a start and a finish or start, mm-hmm. middle and a finish, if you want to put it. We like to achieve, likes to, <laughs> we like to achieve something and I feel we can't achieve it in this game completely. You can get to level yeah. 50 as we are, well, most of us are right now. But what have you really... It's a little anticlimactic. Yeah, what have it's you like, really achieved? Oh, wait, this is the end. Okay. The Nobody end is you continue, which is, you know, great. It's like Sons of the Forest. you got the mm-hmm. option to continue, but you can only continue by either building or continue running around killing stuff. And that's that's mm-hmm. boring. And I feel this yeah, is how this point. game is going to be as well. Mm-hmm. But once again, I'm not, I'm not ragging on the game. I love the game. The game's, game's awesome. There are things that I mm-hmm. think could be improved, and I think they will with time. The game is still pretty much brand new. I think we're in week five of the release, the full release of the game. 
Yeah. So, That's why it's important to get this out here for everybody because it's coming. It is coming and it's coming I'm fast. Sure I really, really yeah. think we only have another week or so before they start to think about season two. And once that mm-hmm. happens, you don't want to be unprepared. You need to know what's coming. And I think this video should help a lot of people with that. At least I really hope it does. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, interested to see how many new players come in at the beginning of the season. Mm. And, like compared to how many people go, one season's enough. <laughs> like, are we going to see the same number of people running around here and you can't build anywhere? Or is it going to be a lot more free and open? I think initially for season two, there's going to be a lot of people in um, to see what actually has changed. So I think it's more curiosity for people. People are going to come in. They're going to be like, okay, let's actually see if it's improved and if it's even worth my time, continue playing. And that's what it's going to be for me. If it's not worth my time, I will not continue playing straight up. Agreed. We may Mm -hmm. come in every now and then have a bit of fun, play around, do a little bit of building, whatever. Um, But if it's not going to meet, you know, my expectations, I'm not going to bother coming back. It's simple as that. Right. I don't want to be negative about it. But like I said, the game is great. It's got a lot of good aspects to it. But like all games, you you eventually get sick of it. Mm-hmm. Unless you're really, really diehard fans. Like say, for instance, James and I with um, Sons of the Forest. We ground, ground? It's not the right word. We were grinding. Grounded, grinded. Yeah. We were <laughs> grinding for a very, very long time of that game. But that's because it was more free to do now it was open world now this is open world too but this is limited to your territory whereas like sons of the forest you could go and literally build anywhere you want and there is no limitations to a point yeah the limitations are only limited by generally your fps and your ability to imagine mm-hmm. that's where you, do you want your lights to stay on <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah that's true that's um i reckon I reckon that's our summary for the game, and I am looking forward to season two. What about you, Jax? Yeah. See what sort of changes are coming I, I'm up. I'm very curious, yeah. You know, we, we've been told so much, but what comes down to it is when we actually experience the season two and see how it feels. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll continue playing this for a long time. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But if things don't change and they pretty much stay exactly the same as they are now, but with a new open area, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think I don't think that's going to be enough to keep me here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would have to be significantly different in like the story, like because it's kind of a story here, I guess. If you, it's not. Yeah. Super engaging <laughs> for me, anyway. Yeah. It, so it, 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 yeah. that would have to be the big update. I think. What I've realized though, over the last five weeks or however long it's been, I think it's been five weeks, is... Ninth, yeah. Ninth? What are we on now? Ninth was when this came out. Okay, so it's actually been only four weeks. So we've got two more weeks before second season. Has it only been four weeks? Wow, okay, crazy. Hmm. Feels like it's been longer. Not sure. I can't tell. Yeah. It's like both. I've... See, it's really short and really long. I've put a lot of solid hours into this game. It kind of just meshed to one big day. If that yeah. makes sense. A lot of good a lot of good stuff though. I think we're gonna wrap up the video there. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. And as always, if you could please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below, that'll be fantastic. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.